Hi there, Pastor Don here on a Wednesday morning, March the 24th, here in the sanctuary of Rock of Ages Lutheran Church in Wildwood, Florida, the villages. Welcome to those of you who are finding us on Facebook and YouTube. It's a, a pleasure to have you join us for this daily session of scripture reading and brief prayer. Uh, have you ever wondered if you are truly saved? I remember uh, some time ago, uh, I was asked by someone, uh, when were you saved? And for a Lutheran, that's an odd question because um, the answer is very simply, when Christ died for us on the cross, that's when we were saved. Uh, there was nothing I needed to do. Christ did it for me. However, that question continues to plague humans today. Am I truly saved? Will I uh, eventually find my, myself in heaven? Well, um, John writes about that in, in 1 John in the fifth chapter. Let me read it to you. It's a little longer than some of the, the normal ones that I read, but here we go. Everyone who believes that Jesus Christ is the Christ has been born of God, and everyone who loves the parent loves the child. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we obey his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. For whatever is born of God conquers the world, and this is the victory that conquers the world, our faith. Who is it that conquers the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ, not with the water only, but with the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the one that testifies, for the Spirit is the truth. There are three that testify, the Spirit, and the water and the blood, and these three agree. If we receive human testimony, the testimony of God is greater, for this is the testimony of God that he has testified to his Son. Those who believe in the Son of God have the testimony in their hearts. Those who do not believe in God have made him a liar by not believing in the testimony that God has given concerning his Son. And this is the testimony. God gave us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. Whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. And finally, I write these things to you who believe in the Son of God so that you may know that you have eternal life. Well, like I said at the beginning, uh, from time to time, we human beings wonder, are we saved? Are, are we going to be with Jesus uh, in heaven? Well, um, there's a, a three-part test that John offers us in Scripture, and the first one is called the word test, the word test. Uh, genuine Christians, those who truly uh, believe that Christ is Lord, Christ is the Son of God, uh, believe what Scripture has to say about him. The second test is called the witness test, and this is about believing that the Holy Spirit lives within us and uh, motivates us and causes us to uh, make certain choices and to believe certain things. And then the final test, the third test, is called the walk test, and that's to walk the belief that we profess. Well, we can't be 100% certain that we are saved, uh, even if we pass these three tests. But uh, as John suggests to us, uh, <clears throat> that um, uh, our best that we can do is is to do these three tests and to and to believe in the Scripture, to to let the Holy Spirit guide us, and then finally to uh, live out our lives as though we truly do believe. In in John's first epistle, he he says to us this. These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, so that you may know that you have eternal life. Well, 
that's pretty convincing to me. I hope it is to you as well. So if you're having doubts about salvation, uh, turn back to this scripture and, and seek John's uh, assurance in 1 John 5, verses 1 through 13. Let's say a prayer. Gracious God, thank you for reassuring us that we have been saved by the death of Christ on the cross and his resurrection. Thank you, Almighty God, that we do not need to worry about this, that we need to simply follow Christ's teachings. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we're again grateful that the scripture is available to us and has such infinite wisdom. Uh, all the time we can turn to it. So whenever we doubt, uh, help us, Lord, to lead ourselves back to scripture uh, to find the assurance that we seek. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we ask your blessings on, on our day and uh, pray that we might be an influence on other people in a positive way. Help, help us to be witnesses to the resurrected Christ, to help us shine the light of hope into people who are living in darkness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we ask that you continue to protect us in these days of COVID-19. Even though things appear to be turning the corner, we know we're not out of the woods just yet. Help us, Almighty God, to stay safe, but to stay hopeful. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to thank you again for taking a minute uh, this morning to uh, read some scripture and to say a brief bit of prayer. And uh, we'll see you again tomorrow on Thursday. Until then, God bless.